What up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Finster Princess, SoundCloud, SoundClip, Chris Hopkins, and all points. Uh, missing persons now found dead. Uh, this actor, actress, excuse me, this actress was uh, an actress in Frozen River and the Django in Chains. And she's dead, 32 years old, gone. And uh, I read the story. It's on Yahoo. I read the story. And I, I did see that she was missing a couple days ago. I thought she'd be found uh, as far as, you know, uh, alive and well. But it's a real it's, it's a real interesting story when you start reading it. And uh, uh, I read through it. And basically, for one, the police did not help find this woman. And her, her family is pissed off because... They're like, yo, the police didn't help us find her. Family and friends found her. They found her in the woods. Also, with, uh, uh, her father, she moved to be closer with her father to help take care of him. But her father said that she also had problems. Uh, she was taking me uh, medicine, for, medicine for anxiety attacks or whatever. She was uh, medicated. She was being medicated, but she stopped taking her medicine, and that's when they became worried about her. I think she was lost for a week until they found her in the woods. But basically, her father said that she would not commit suicide because she knows suicide is a sin. So she had a spiritual basis where she was like, "No, nah, I'm not going to kill myself." But nonetheless, nobody knows how she died. So I'm suspecting foul play. But I'm, um, I'm, I'm also going to say this. There have been people who've been known to die of natural causes at a very young age. Um, this does happen. And they're usually not, but they're usually not found in the woods. So I'm expecting foul play. The coroner is looking into how she died. And this is another soul that has left us uh, among the many that we don't know about. We know about this particular individual because she was uh, famous. And uh, we'd like to send prayers out to her family. We'd like to know what happened to her. We'd like to get to the bottom of things. We'd like, we'd like some, we'd like some some spiritual rest because this is never good. This is a time where uncertainty is 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 a constant and we need to figure out what's going on, especially in Hollywood. There's always been a lot of murders and killings in Hollywood and so on and so forth, but we're still trying to get over Robin Williams killing himself. Like, really? Just like, bam, Philip Seymour Hoffman. I mean, these were guys whose careers we watch. I've been watching Mork for Mork when I was a kid. Uh, and him and Mindy McConnell, I mean, Robin Williams dead? Like, that just doesn't even sound right. So, there are people falling over everywhere, uh, but when they're public like this, we really want to look into what's going on. And I hope they get to the bottom of the story. It's really interesting, although I did not know her as an actress. I never even saw her before, and I didn't see Django, and I didn't see Frozen River. I might see Frozen River now that, you know, she was in it. But uh, I'm just praying that the angels give her soul rest, and I'm praying that they find out who or what happened to this woman. It's your boy Tone 202, and it's unfortunate another soul has left us in this fashion. And, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to your family. I'm sorry to you. And I, I hope, I hope we find out what's going on, and I hope your soul rests in peace.